Heath Waddington from the uh, Castlemaine Rod Shop. As most guys seem to know now, me and my brother own the rod shop and the old man. So it's a family business, which is, yeah, it's going good. So. Yeah, guys, I'm Mark Waddington, uh, one of the owners of the Castlemaine Rod Shop. Uh, we're up here for the Gazanats. Uh, can't beat the 30 degree temperature rather than 10 and rain in Melbourne. So we thought we'd come up and support Gary, a long time legend of the sport. So uh, we've got the three cars here. Um, we're all here and we were hoping to have a good time. We're down to two. All that's left off the original car is right hand quarter panel and roof. So everything else. So it's got repo front from um, Rares or, or Sydney Muscle Car Parts to repo guards. And then it's bits of a from other four doors and cut and chopped and yeah, so. I get sick of asking the question, everyone goes, oh, that's an awesome body. I'm like, well, it wasn't to start with, so. Because the engine's so heavy and it's so far forward over the front end, I kept breaking steering wheels and racks and it just wasn't set up for what it was. So we're slowly ironing them out, but it hasn't been one issue. It's probably been realistic 25 things we've changed. So at 6,200 6, RPM, it made 1690. So new oil system, we hadn't even fired the car up until we got here. So took it out, tipped him once or twice and come back off. We spanner checked yesterday, we went over all three cars that are running real well. Um, but unfortunately, this morning, uh, we went to warm the Falcon up and we had no temp in cylinder eight. Uh, we went over it, uh, numerous calls to the no gas tribe to give me some advice what they would do in that situation. Uh, we went over it, we pulled it off. Um, two long rods have dropped down inside the engine. You know, like a hundred dollar part. And it's gonna cost me a lot more than a hundred, but she's a little bit ugly on number eight, so. Unfortunately, that's part of motor racing, isn't it? I mean, we all know the risk we run. We put the best of everything in it, but. So, yeah, it's, uh, it's a little bit nervous, that paddy. I mean, you've got an eight foot wall, and, and it seemed like the smoke just got stuck in there. Like, I only tipped him once, I couldn't actually see. So hopefully the breeze picks up and so, and the car doesn't handle. I'm the first to admit it. Just, I've sort of got to go with the car. I'll tip in where that goes to go. I don't get a choice, I'm going to that corner. Well, for those that don't know, I'm Barry Hall. I played for the Sydney Swans, Western Bulldogs and St Kilda, early days. Um, but I've always been in the cars. That's probably been my number one passion uh, throughout my life. The boys from Castlemaine Rod Shop threw me the keys to this beast behind me and uh, said, we want you to skid it. So I was like, OK, it's going to be different. It's got a bit of steam behind it. It's obviously an LS3 blown one set up, it's got a lot of their components on it, the Willwood brakes, um, obviously their steering set up, the rack and pinion. Uh, it's a well set up car, um, yeah, and you can tell driving it. You, you, you put your foot on the throttle and it, uh, it just fries the tyres and uh, yeah, it's, it's quite good. You actually got to keep, uh, keep onto it. Adrenaline rush, absolutely. Um, you know, I used to love kicking goals and hearing the crowd, all that sort of stuff. This is a totally different rush, um, but it's something that's addictive for me as well. I, I just want more, I want to go faster, I want things to be better, I want the car to look better. It's just a little thing of mine that um, I, don't know, I want to try and control something that's out of control, I guess.
some ups and downs. Uh, the down has been the Falcon, it's failed. Uh, we've had some engine issues, but that's motorsport. You get the good and the bad, and unfortunately, today was the bad for the Falcon. So hopefully next time we'll be back to the good. So that was my down, but the boys here, they done a killer job. So what have we got? Oh, yeah, we're not winning the, uh, the Dale skin. I don't know how that happened, but... Um, no brakes. Yeah. Yeah, that's how it happens. <laughs> well, no, yeah, no brakes. So you can't have a power skid and, and put the brake on. So, um, and the boys put out a killer car. The, you know, mine HJ is so easy to drive. The more I drove it, the better we got with it. Um, you know, the burnouts didn't go to plan, but the power skid certainly did, and we got the, we got the chocolates there. So that was thumbs up. Yeah, so the Toronto was good. Uh, a little bit frustrated with the final skid. So I got the tyres off and then uh, got up against the wall and it grabbed reverse. So that was a great weekend. I give it a lot of credit, Barry. You know what I mean? He gives everyone the time of day and done a great job in the Utes. Look, one piece, no damage. So hopefully we'll do another comp shortly and have all three cars going. So yeah, thanks to Gazanats. All right, well, guys, we'll wrap it up here at the Gazanats. Um, awesome weekend. We've said it, we've done it, we've enjoyed it. Stay tuned with the Rod Shop team. Uh, we're going out again. This car's a bit uh, gas main, quick tune up and away we go again. So stay tuned with the Ride Shop team, we'll, we'll be out soon.